That's terrific. I love, I love that pinball. Player piano pinball. No, I missed a P. But four P's. Player, play, player piano pinball. Okay, our next maker is uh, Jeremy Meyer. And I have to say, let me ask you, how many of you in this audience have actually used a typewriter in your life? Okay, if you're under 50. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you'll know why I, I asked that question, uh, and I'll let Jeremy explain, but I have to say, Jeremy was at Maker Faire last year, and it was one of my favorite exhibits, of some, seeing some of his work, and, and even his stories behind what he's doing are amazing. Thank you, Jeremy. Welcome, Jeremy, to the... Thanks, Dale. So I'm going to explain to the younger people in the crowd what a typewriter is, <laughs> since you may not know. It's a keyboard device. It was used to, much in the same way the computer is, to uh, write to people. And uh, instead of being zeros and ones, the, the letters wind up being uh, words on paper. And they made a lot of them. Uh, and they're portable. They don't, the earlier models don't require electricity, and they're full of parts, and that's why I like them. I take them apart, and I disassemble them very carefully, and uh, we were talking about organization before. You can see that uh, this is in between sculptures when I've cleaned everything up, and everything's neat and tidy and put away. Um, Here's very soon after. I wind up with a very small square on the floor <laughs> and thousands of parts strewn all over the place. And when I take these typewriters apart, I don't uh, solder or glue or weld them together. I simply uh, reassemble, much like an erector set. Um, here's a sketch of a skull that I'm working on. I usually do a little sketch first, just one. Uh, like in Photoshop or uh, some sort of digital sketching program. Here's a little time lapse of me working, and again, you can see the parts strewn all over the place. But I know exactly where everything is <laughs> in that pile. I wish I could actually work this fast. <laughs> Uh, this takes a long time. This piece I'm working on here is a full-scale human figure. It'll take uh, a, anywhere from 800 to 1,000 hours to complete. And this is what it winds up being. Uh, this, is a, this one took about 1,000 hours, 1,200 hours. Um, took about a year. Uh, this is a bust that I did, the back of it. And as you can see, I. I kind of try to work with real anatomy um, as closely as you can with, with typewriter <laughs> components. But you can see uh, vertebrae in there and uh, shoulder muscles and uh, you know, springs that serve as ligaments and musculature, um, ears, there's a hand. This is a full-size deer. Uh, like a baby, de like a year old deer. Um, and a penguin. I just did three of these this year. They were pretty popular. And uh, this is the front of that bust that I did. Uh, it, it, it's really important to me to take one object and turn it into another thing without introducing any other materials. Just using a few tools. Uh, again, I don't solder glue weld, so I don't buy anything else except for typewriters. And I'll go with Nemo once in a while, the Alameda flea market, and uh, get my piles of typewriters. I have about 100 stacked up in my studio right now. And uh, you can go here to see more of my work.